Hi, welcome to my third YouTube video on the Type 81 rifle. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble the bolt. Now before I do that, I want to show you a brief comparison to the SKS bolt. As you can see, they are totally different. And the reason why is because the SKS uses a different locking mechanism. It's called the tilt locking mechanism. When the bolt face reaches the chamber face, it's forced down by the carrier and locks in place. If I turn the carrier and the bolt upside down, you can see that the Type 81 uses a rot rotating locking mechanism. And I'll go through the whole cycle with you. This is in its open position. When it goes forward, it grabs around and pushes it forward out of the magazine and into the chamber. When the bolt face touches the face of the chamber, it stops moving, but the carrier still moves another three quarter of an inch. And as it moves forward, it starts to rotate the bolt head in a clockwise position about 45 degrees. And in this position, it's in the lock position. Once you pull the trigger, the hammer hits the firing pin. The hammer hits the firing pin. The cartridge explodes. And a piston comes back and hits the carrier at this point, driving the carrier back. As the carrier moves back, it forces the bolt head to turn counterclockwise about 45 degrees. And as it goes for back further, the extractor is pulling the spent cartridge out. And as it continues to move back, there's an ejector that runs along this path and it ejects the spent casing. That is the entire firing cycle. What makes the bolt turn is this groove in the carrier and the cam that sits in the groove. This is the bolt when it's in the open position. The cam is on top. It sits on a extractor housing and these two are the locking lugs and the bottom feeds the ammo into the chamber. This is the shaft and this is the firing pin in the center. You can even hear the firing pin. The firing pin has no spring it's a free floating system. Very similar to the SKS free floating firing pin. Now those of you will remember the SKS is known to have slam fire. What is a slam fire? A slam fire is when the, the velocity of the bolt moves forward and the weight of the firing pin hits a commercial ammo. Commercial ammo has a softer primer and it puts an indent on the primer, sufficient enough to cause it to fire. Slam fire is an unintended firing of the ammo when the bolt moves forward. Now there's another way you can also have a slam fire is when you, you know, don't clean your bolt, especially after when you use corrosive ammo 
and um, you have <clears throat> carbon, rust in the firing pin channel, and the firing pin gets stuck in the forward position. And just that alone, when the bolt slams the back of the uh, ammunition cartridge, it'll cause it to go off. And it doesn't matter if it's a commercial ammo or a surplus ammo, it will go off if you don't clean your firing pin channel. That is the reason why you, when you're loading around into the chamber, you should always point it down range or in a safe direction. We'll come back to the pin later. But for now, let me show you how to disassemble the bolt. At the bottom of the bolt head, you'll notice there's a one and a half millimeter hole. To the right, there's a three millimeter hole. The opposite side of the one and a half millimeter hole is a firing pin retainer and it sits right in the cam. The opposite side of a three millimeter hole is a extractor retainer. You can't remove this without removing the firing pin retainer first. So let me show you how to do that. First, get yourself a nail, any small nail. Pound the head so you don't have the sharp end or file it. Put that into the hole. You can see the firing pin retainer coming out slowly. That's the firing pin retainer. Now you don't need to have it come out all the way. That small item is more likely to be lost if you have it come out all the way. Just enough to pass the extractor retainer. And as soon as you pull out your nail, this is what the Type 81 rifle firing pin looks like. Okay, our next step is to remove the extractor retainer. And to do that, put some pressure on the extractor. And with the same nail, push the retainer out. Okay. This is the extractor, extractor spring. This is the extractor retainer. You'll notice it has one flat side, one pointy side. This is where the extractor goes in. Now before I reassemble the bolt, I want to compare the Type 81 firing pin to the SKS firing pin.
You remove this pin and then the extractor with the spring and the SKS firing pin comes out. I want you to watch carefully at the comparison of the two. Now I used a caliper and I measured the width of the shaft and this. The SKS firing pin is twice as thick as this shaft. And you can actually feel the difference, the weight of the SKS firing pin is a lot heavier than the one from the Type 81 rifle. So therefore, I think this, since the weight is a lot lighter, it's less likely that Type 81 would experience a slam fire. But that's not to say you won't have it if you don't clean the bolt. Okay, so that is the difference between the two firing pins. This pin is twice, more than twice, as heavy as this. So, let's uh, reassemble. The T Type 81 bolt, put the spring back in the extra extractor and put it into the hole like this. Now, you need a lot of force. You need a lot of force to hold down the extractor. I so happen to have a front sight adjuster. It's a TAPCO. And I managed to use that as a, a device to hold down the extractor. And then you get the extractor pin or retainer and slide it down with the pointy end up. Like this. and push it in. Tap it in gently. And you can release it. There. Before you drive the firing pin retainer down, test to make sure that the extractor can move up and down with some tension. Now, now you have to put the firing pin in. Actually, there's only one way to put the firing pin in and that is this side to the left. You can see there's a difference between the two sides. Okay, put this side to the left of the bolt. Slide it in and hold it with your fingers so it doesn't change. And then use a hammer and gently tap it in. But don't go all the way down. Now to sh make sure it rattles freely. And from the sound of that, it does rattle freely. Now you can drive the retainer all the way down.
and again test again to make sure it rattles freely. So that's it. That's how you uh, disassemble a Type 81 bolt. Please subscribe and thank you for joining me. Thank you.